I'm Flowers and Molly. I'm a cleaner at Forgotten Scans, and this is just going to be a small video tutorial on how to clean. Hopefully, I'll have more video tutorials up, but this is just the basics. So first of all, I want to clean the right half of this page. So I'm just going to go into the Crop tool, or you can press C. Doesn't really matter. Depends upon whether you like keyboard shortcuts or not. I'm gonna adjust that. I can either press enter or I can press this check mark key. And now that whoops, now that we have that done, um, I want to go ahead and straighten out this page. So if you have this ruler up here, good. If you don't have the ruler up there, then you can just press Control R. Let me demo. So Control R to get rid of the ruler. Control R and it brings it back. I'm going to just pull down one line from above here. And let's zoom in a little bit. As you can see, the border isn't all that straight. So let's straighten it out. I don't want to have this line over here, so I'm just going to go to View, Clear Guides. And now I'm going to go to this tool over here. By default, it should be on the eyedropper tool, but you can click this and go to ruler tool. So I'm going to just draw a line along this border. Let me try that again. I'm just going to draw it up to here, or maybe up to here. There. I think that's good. All right? Okay, that looks good. And now that I have my line, if I don't like it, I can press clear. If I do like it, I'll just press straighten. And now the line should be straight. Let's check to make sure. Often when you're using the ruler tools to straighten out things, it can sometimes go overboard. Luckily, it did not go overboard this time. But you may have noticed earlier that this border over here used to be straight, but now it's no longer all that straight, but there's nothing really we can do much about it. So I don't want these lines here, so I'm just going to go to filter, I mean view, clear guides again. Okay, now I'm going to create my edits layer, so I'm just going to press Control J, and that creates a new layer based off of the background. And then notice that we're in RGB mode, this means that we're in color mode. And this is very crucial for the next step. So I'm going to go to Filter. I'm going to go to Topaz Labs, Denoise 5. Now, Topaz Labs is a company that just creates a bunch of custom filters for uh, Photoshop. But you don't get these filters with Photoshop by itself. Um, you have to go download them. I'm sorry about that, but that's just how it works. So as you can see, um, the overall strength here is already at 0.21. That's from when I said it earlier. You can just play around with it to make it less smooth, to make it more smooth. I'll just set it back to 0.21. See, it's a little bit more smoother. And often when you're dealing with lower quality RAWs, you want to use a Topaz Denoise 5 or something similar, anything to just denoise the RAW so that it would look a little bit more high quality. So I'm just going to press OK. Great. And like I was saying earlier, if you want to use Topaz Labs, you have to be in RGB mode. For these default uh, filters, you don't have to be in RGB mode. You can be in grayscale mode. It doesn't really matter. But for Topaz Labs, you have to be in RGB. And now I want to convert to grayscale. So I'm going to go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. I do not want to flatten my layers. And now I'm going to create my Levels layer. I can go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. Levels 1. All right. I'm going to move this or close this. And now I'm going to press Alt while clicking down on this white tab. So anything that isn't white will show up as black. So you just want to level till all the whites are white. So I'll just level like till here. And then same thing, but the other way around for the black tab. So anything that's not black will show up as white. 
Let me show you. See, it's already pretty dark around here, so I don't really have to level all that much. Just a little bit, a tad bit. Otherwise, you can over level really easily. And so now we have leveling done. And we're going to go back into our edits layer. And I'm going to just use the brush tool. Go in and start cleaning. Now you can see my brush tool is kind of large. And that's okay. If you want it smaller, you can press the left bracket key. And then it makes it smaller. And the right bracket key to make it larger. Or you can go up here. Or you can right click and press size. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. And sometimes you may not want to use the bubble, I mean the brush tool while cleaning a bubble because this is kind of annoying to go like this. So instead you can use the rectangular marquee tool. You can either press M or you can just press this and you can select an area. If you want to move the area around, you can like move it like this after clicking on it, of course. Or you can use the left arrow, the right arrow, whatever. And right now I just want to fill this with white, so I'm just going to right click it, press fill, and it's on white over here, press OK. So I'm just going to do this for the rest of the bubbles. You can also use this quick selection tool. If you use, um, if you press W, you should be able to access it. But I don't want to do that because it doesn't, it's not as accurate as drawing your own rectangular thing. I've also created an action. An action is like a set of commands that Photoshop executes by itself if you press something or if you play the action. And so I made an action to clean bubbles being a lazy person. So I'll just use that instead. I don't like that. All right, so we have the bubbles cleaned now. And I'm going to create another levels layer. So I'm just going to click this, go to layer, new adjustment layer, levels. Make sure this is on top of all of your layers. And I'm going to drag this black tab all the way over. So now, whatever is not white will show up as black. It's kind of similar to what we did before with pressing down Alt while holding the white tab, but this is just a little bit more permanent. And now you can see that we have all this dust over here from when we didn't properly clean the bubbles, etc. So I'm just going to go into my brush tool. And this is just a straight line, but I don't want to drag my mouse all the way across, so I'm just going to click on one side and press shift while clicking on the other side, and it just does the straight line. There. Going to clean that. So this type of layer is called a check layer. You can have a check layer for blacks, you can have a check layer for whites. Doesn't really matter. Um, some people do it, some people don't. It's a good tool, though. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to uncheck it so you can't see it anymore. Um, this area could be a little bit more black, so I'm just going to go in and adjust it a little bit more there. And finally, I'm going to resize. So I'm going to press Control plus Alt plus I. Let me do that now. And my resolution is going to be 72 pixels per inch. And the width is going to be 730 pixels. If you work for another group, they're probably going to use height as 1200 pixels instead, and that's fine if you're in another group, but at forget Forgotten Scans, we do 730 pixels for width. And I'm just going to do that. And now that I have this cleaned image, I'm going to save it. I think this is 184. And that's it. Thank you for staying with me till the end.